It has been a while since I just came out to skate and dedicated a whole session to footwork. And since it has rained for a few days and I haven't been able to skate much, I figured it'd be the best way to get back into the skate grind by just coming out here and working on only footwork, all session, with maybe some shovets sprinkled in. So I figured that while I'm at it, I might as well share some of my favorite intermediate footwork tricks. Okay, first up we have backwards monster walks, just like normal monster walks, but you're going backwards. I tend to use my heels to drive this trick backwards. And uh, I love this trick. I do it a ton. I've started to get quite good at them, though I'm still always just falling off the back. Either way, they are a solid trick to work on after you master regular monster walks. I made a tutorial for smoothies quite a while ago, and they're still one of my really top footwork tricks. I love this trick so much. It's just a spiced up end over, and it is so much fun. If someone told me that going forward I could only do two footwork tricks, they would be walk the dogs and smoothies, hands down. For me, this trick is also quite tricky, but it's mostly in the foot positioning. And once you really find that sweet spot for your foot to be in and rotate, then you really can get the trick down pretty well. Front side switch blades look super cool when it's not me doing them. If you watch someone like Mike Osterman or Nick Ballou do them, then they just look beautiful. I just, uh, I'm trying to get to that point, but they're still pretty rocky for me. Either way, I think they're a great trick to be on this list. They're really tough. I'm always just throwing the board away from me, but definitely a cool trick to throw into a line. The shifty is one of those detail tricks where you might not even realize somebody did it, but it's this awesome little detail to throw in between like walk the dogs or other footwork where you just want to spice it up ever so slightly. In that case, the shifty is a good friend to throw in there because it's so subtle, but it really does make a difference. Of course, the negative to the shifty is that while you're learning it, sometimes it can look kind of silly because like, look at this little hand. What's it doing? Yeah, I wish I didn't do that but here's to hoping for the future. Now spins might not seem like they're necessarily intermediate, but for me, all the tricks I chose were tricks that I felt you could base off of a easier trick. So for spins, I'm basing them off pivots and they're actually quite hard. I can get maybe 360, maybe 540 on a really lucky spin, but they're tough and it takes a lot of balance, a lot of control and a lot of subtleties in the movement. So I'm still figuring those out myself, but I have finally started throwing spins into a lot of my practice sessions, just a couple here and there to get used to them because I do think they're cool. These kind of tail spins or swings into walk the dogs is another recent favorite of mine. I learned them this fall and I really like them. They're just an excellent way to kind of stay where you want to and turn around without interrupting the flow of your line or your sequence. So you can just kind of keep going. I'm not sure what we call this. I've been calling it a hop back where, you know, you just kind of hop back on the board, but I love it. It's another, it's kind of like the shifty in that it's just one of those subtleties where you're just bringing your foot back just to add a little extra spice to the sequence. And as you get better, you can actually turn them into pivots and stuff. I've seen somebody hop back and then use that foot to pivot the board back under them and it's very cool. So it's something that you can take, learn at a basic level and then spice up even further, which is why footwork's so fun and so important in the first place. Now swing to fakie can be such a foundational trick in the future when you really want to get to harder and harder footwork techniques. I still struggle to carry my momentum through the end of the swing. I have been able to get some swing to faking manuals, but um, they're very difficult to carry that momentum for me still. I need to work on 
probably rolling faster and then tightening up the technique so that I can keep that backwards momentum as I go into fakie. However, I've got the actual spin down, so I tend to use them to slow myself down from rolling tricks into stationary ones, swing to fakie, often do a shove it afterwards. I'm just right there. And then later you can take them into, you know, swing to fakie manual and swing to fakie spacewalks. I'd love to do a swing to fakie backside big spin. That would be really fun. You could even just swing to fakie into Suzuki walks. You can really just do whatever you want to once you get that foundation. This is another trick I don't really know the name of. I swiped it off of Mike Osterman because I love how fast he does them and how cool he makes them look. But the only thing I can think to call it is like a thrown switchblade. And then you can turn it into a reverse where you throw the switchblade and then use your front foot to bring it right back. And I think that looks really cool. I would love to get these better. These are actually the best I've done them, so I'm quite happy right here, but I'd love to get this super smooth and fast. The turn in looks like it could be a beginner trick, but for me it's actually incredibly difficult. I think turn ins took me longer than any other footwork trick on this list did. I'm just really bad at them. I don't know why. There's something really hard about balancing in this position and turning, but uh, yeah, the turn in. Some people make it look really, really good. I was watching someone on Instagram the other day who just does these phenomenally really smooth, really fast. It made me want to try them again, but man, I am not good at them yet. Pretty rough. And to finish it off, we have the Paulinho, also called the Mraz Twist by some skaters. This trick is really, really cool when you can do it fast and carry that momentum. Once again, it's a trick I can't do that for yet, but uh, I actually ended up spicing it up myself by keeping my feet on the board throughout the trick. So I really enjoy doing this kind of spin into cross foot that I use the Paulinho to figure out. But uh, yeah, you know, make it your, take all the footwork, make it your own, have fun. That's the point of footwork. And I need to have more sessions like this because they are so much fun and they're so worth it.